There are people that will offer you to get a TRP, temporary resident permit in Ukraine, by setting you up with a fake marriage. So you get married to a Ukrainian resident woman, and it's a fake marriage. And guys, I have heard so many horror stories about this that it ends up costing them, well, through the teeth, okay? And they are horrified, and they go through a nightmare. Hey guys, today I'm sitting with a lawyer in Kyiv, Ukraine, and we're gonna to talk to you guys about the seven main steps to get your temporary resident permit here in Ukraine. If you're looking at relocating and living in Ukraine. So we're gonna talk about the red flags, the do's and don'ts, and this is an essential video for you to watch if you're considering this at all. Welcome, Konstantin. Thank you very much, you as well, welcome. My pleasure. So let me start by asking, yeah, can you share with us a little bit your credentials, your specialty of law? Uh, I'm practicing in law sphere more than 15 years. I'm working here uh, and uh, my specializations uh, are uh, tax law, corporate law, real estate and investment. Okay, cool. Let's first talk about two types of lawyers in Ukraine, registered lawyers, uh, that are registered to represent clients in court, they can go to court, and they're registered with the equivalent of the bar in Ukraine. And then there's non-registered lawyers. Pay attention, guys, because if you ever heard of somebody being screwed by a lawyer in Ukraine, it almost indefinitely was a non-registered lawyer because they have no accountability, you know, uh, which really messed my mind when I learned this. So we're going to talk about that a little bit now. So first of all, are you a registered lawyer? Can you uh, represent clients in court? Yes, I'm a registered uh, lawyer. I've got my license uh, more than 10 years ago. Yes. And uh, now I'm practicing with, with license. So I have the opportunity to go to the court and uh, protect my clients in the court. Why does a, does a client coming to, to find a lawyer in Ukraine, why do they definitely want to uh, find a lawyer that's registered to represent them as opposed to a lawyer that's not registered? Uh, you already uh, get, get the answer on this because uh, there is no liability for unregistered lawyers. So my first uh, recommendation to you is to uh, uh, find out registered lawyers because uh, they have some liability. That's the huge first tip, guys, really. Before we get into the seven step process for you to get your TRP, uh, the most common way, we're gonna share with you what not to do, okay? So Konstantin, um, about how many ways are there to get different methods to get your TRP, your temporary resident permit in Ukraine? Uh, under Ukrainian legislation, it is about uh, 10 ways to get to P here in Ukraine. But the most popular from them, um, it's about four, four, four main ways. Okay, let's, let's talk about those four main ways, because that's most likely the ways you're going to hear about, guys. So the first most common way that most of your clients uh, you do it for? Yeah, it's uh, through employment uh, here in Ukraine and, and uh, set, a, uh, set up a company where you will be the director. Yes, then through the volunteering, yes, through marriage and uh, through uh, investment. Okay, let's talk about each, um, just uh, highlight points, guys. So there's two ways of, you know, you can get an actual job through an actual corporation that's active in Ukraine. Uh, but guys, you got to know salaries are shit in Ukraine. You're probably not going to get a job that you would want to uh, uh, take. So the other way is to hire yourself in your own corporation. Totally bona fide, and that's the main way, and the way I've done it, and the way Constantine suggests, right? Yes, I recommend uh, to consider this. And this way, you will have your own Ukrainian corporation that you could do different things with, uh, you know. So, second way is through. Uh, volunteering, yeah, volunteering. Okay. So in my opinion, this is some kind of uh, fake uh, volunteering. Why? Because, uh, frankly speaking, no, nobody do any work for some volunteering organization. Yeah, so it's uh, my opinion, um, it's not uh, really right way, but it's only my opinion. A lot of people uh, choose, uh, choose this way and uh, stay in Ukraine 
um, one, one year gap, uh, one year TRP, yes, and uh, stay in Ukraine for this reason. Yeah, you know, it really surprised me, guys. I've been here for four years now. It surprised me that there really is almost no charitable organizations in Ukraine at least legit ones uh, that are really about charity, you know, uh, philanthropy, you know. What I've seen predominantly are these fake charities. So you go to somebody, a lawyer, non-registered, uh, or some somebody that's going to offer you to do a TRP cheaply, and they're going to say, yeah, you'll work for this uh, XYZ charity. What it is is they set up a charity, a fake charity, and they get a TRP based on that. And then the charity collapses or it's not bona fide and basically your TRP is not valid also. So you, you pay the thousand bucks or whatever, it's pretty cheap and you have a one year TRP, but it can be nullified at any time. So, and, and it's illegal. I mean, it's an illegal way to get your uh, residency or your TRP, temporary residency in the country. So don't do that. <laughs> Yes, it's true, but uh, the, the main difference uh, between uh, through the employment and through the volunteering, uh, you employ it uh, completely le legally, you uh, manage your own company, yes, but in the case of volunteering, uh, you, uh, you do nothing, yes, you do nothing. Uh, and uh, this is some kind of uh, false uh, volunteering, so the false reason to get uh, uh, resident permits. Yeah, you don't want to be uh, getting your residency on false pretenses and you know, you can get kicked out of the country this way. So you just don't want to play around in this area. Okay, number three, marriage, yeah? Yes, it's true, it's marriage and um, unfortunately in most uh, uh, cases it's uh, also fa fake uh, marriage. Yeah, so just to give you a little um, snippet on this, there are people that will offer you to get a TRP, Temporary Resident Permit in Ukraine, by setting you up with a fake marriage. So you get married to a Ukrainian resident woman, and it's a fake marriage. And guys, I've heard so many horror stories about this that it ends up costing them, well, through the teeth, okay? And they are horrified, and they go through a nightmare. Don't go down this road. First of all, it's illegal. Second of all, you're going to go through a nightmare. And third, it's not any cheaper. It's usually more expensive at the end of the day because I've heard the stories than the way Constantine would do it for you in a bona fide way, set up your own company and hire yourself. Yeah, so um, let's speak for a moment. If you do actually marry a Ukrainian woman, right, and it's all bona fide, it's an actual real marriage, how long does it take? As soon as you get married, um, you can apply for your TRP just based on the marriage, right? If it's a real marriage, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's make uh, about uh, one month to get to your pre uh, to your P after marriage, and then after you're married, is it right? Uh, two years, you automatically, or you can apply to become a full resident, yeah, uh, permanent you, resident. You will need you will need submit document for uh, permanent re uh, resident here in Ukraine, mm -hmm. and if you divorce before two years. Um, you lose your status, your temporary yes, status, and yes. you have to leave, correct? Yes, yes, correct. Okay. And the fourth most common way you can, you know, get your TRP in Ukraine? Uh, it is uh, through investment in Ukraine, uh, $100,000. Uh, so what's really cool, guys, is uh, Konstantin can show you how you can actually invest in your own company in Ukraine and buy your own home for personal residence. But uh, as always, there's a right way and a wrong way to do it. Is that right, Constantine? Yeah, completely right. So first of all, if you want to buy some real estate here in Ukraine, you need to invest uh, uh, 100,000 uh, US dollars in your company and then company will buy home for you where you will live. In a particular way, uh, in a particular way. So that's the four most common ways Constantine gets temporary resident permits for his clients to live and reside in Ukraine. Now we're going to talk to you about the most common way because that's the way most clients do it. That's the way I did it. It's the most bona fide, really the simplest way and the most solid way. As long as you're not a, a, a jailbreak or wanted by Interpol, basically, uh, you can get a TRP in Ukraine.